Hello everybody, I'm Jira. I'm going to read you a nice story book for Beyond the Door. The story so far. At the school fair, Nadine buys the box that once had the magic key inside it. When a sinister man tries to get it, Mr. Molak, the school caretaker, prevents him. Who is Mr. Molak? Why does he call the man the enemy? And why is the box so important? And what will help him happen when the children run to the door that suddenly appears in the landscape? <coughs> Chapter one. What were the children thinking as they ran to the door? Their minds were racing. How could a man disappear in a shower of sparks before their eyes? Was he even human? We might check that everyone had made it. We're all safe and fluffy too. Thank goodness, she breathed. The dames still held the box that the man had tried to snatch for them. Where are we? And what do we do now? He asked. They were in an empty hallway with doors leading off it. Let's try the first door, said Jim nervously. They pushed the door open and stepped into a vast room full of exhibits on display. It's like a museum, gasped Skipper. Everything looks strange, familiar. A robot, a Viking ship, and a rolling with a huge mirror on the back. In the center of the room was a rocket ship. From the ceiling hung a biplane with a yellow body and blue wings. Dresses and costumes hung on racks around the walls. This is amazing, gasped Biff. These are from adventures we had with the magic key when we were younger. This robot was in Strom Castle, cried Nadim. The biplane was in the Blue Eyed Adventure, said Wilf. And there's the Rainbow Machine. There's something weird about all this, said Biff. Why are these things in here? I don't understand it. Nina said what they were all thinking. Magic key adventures were often scary, but they're fun. When the key glowed, we came back. This is different. What if something has gone wrong? Well, it must have something to do with this old box, said Nadim. We found the magic key in the box, said Keeper. That that man wanted the box, but Mr. Molak zapped him. So the hurried man, this box, Mr. Molak, and the magic key are all connected in some way, said Nadim. But how? Let's go back to the hallway and try on the door, suggested Will. Chapter 2 As they went back to the hallway, Floppy growled. A door was opening. It was the door they had come through from the park. The children gasped. Mr. Molag was running through the doorway. There was a flash of light and the door slammed shut. But it was not Mr. Molag. It was an old man. He had long white hair. His skin was leathery and lined. He smiled at them kindly, his blue eyes looking wise but sad. Who are you? gasped Wilma. You look like Mr. Molag, our school caretaker, only much older. I am Time Guardian. My name is Molak, the, mo the old man replied. We are in the Time Vault. Outside here, I turned into Mr. Molak, the school caretaker. I worked at your school for many years to protect you from danger. Danger? exclaimed Nadim. Is it to do with the man who exploded in the park? But he wasn't a man at all, was he? Why was he so keen to get his hands on the box? You're right, said Molak. The man was not a human. All this has to do with the box you're holding, Nadine. Keeper remembered the exhibits on display in the other room. So you're behind the magic key adventures, he said. Yes, there were tasks, said Molak. And you were you and you were resourceful, brave and clever. I could not have hoped for more. He was angry. A test for what? Magic Key Adventures were exciting. What happened today was horrible. Molak held up his hand. I'm sorry, this must be quite a shock for you all, but I need your help. Come with me. What I have to show you will make everything clear. Thank you for watching to Beyond the Door. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the thumbs up to like this video. Bye bye!